Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past video, we have learned how to perform CRUD operation using uh, Hibernate 5. So here you can see we had created this project and we have a Hibernate configuration file which contains the, all the database information. Uh, we have a utility class Hibernate Util which is responsible to basically create a session factory. Uh, we had created entity class which is binded with the table employee underscore table and finally we had created a client program and there I have shown you how to perform the CRUD operation right so here I am going to refactor this code so in this video nothing we are going to learn related to Hibernate but uh, we'll follow some design pattern so we'll have uh, some kind of service class uh, and service class will make call to the doll layer so we are going to create some layered application uh, service layer as well as uh, uh, service layer as well as uh, doll layer so here i am going to create a so first of all i will create a service layer interface so here com dot info take dot i would say service and i would say employee service employee service so let's create uh, actually i have created as a class but i was supposed to create interface so let's make it interface right Sorry. interface and here i'm going to declare all crud related method like public abstract so when you create an interface and you declare some method then public abstract is implicitly there so you don't need to declare this still i am going to declare just i, I want to follow some naming convention and all right so here first of all i'm going to declare a method is called uh, create employee and basically this will take employee as an argument right so let's say employee uh, as an argument So I'm for this guy. So this is our create method. Now similarly, uh, we are going to add all four methods. So now next method we have uh, something is called uh, get employee by ID, right? So let's declare this method as well. And this guy is gonna return employee instance, right? Employee. I will say get employee ID and here int employee ID you are gonna pass it over here. Here you can take int or integer both are both will work. Now next method we are going to create uh, update employee information right. So we can let's say update and return type that up to you up to you what return type you want to specify and here uh, basically update employee uh, what I, sh I would say update employee by id and here let's say i am passing the employee uh, id first argument and next uh, just we want to update his salary and that is type of double so i said new salary right so this is for update sorry uh, new cell is a variable itself right and finally we'll have a delete employee by id right so this will take integer as an argument so last math method i'm gonna write delete employee by id and of course you need to pass employee id right so this is our interface now uh, we are going to create its implementation class right so right click on this package right click on this package and uh, give the package name as impl and class name is impl which is gonna sorry impl and this is gonna implement our interface is called employee service right and click on finish 
so this will create the class so implementation of this method we have to provide right now we are going to create a DAW interface right so in DAW interface we'll have a method very similar to this so let's create a DAW layer why we require a DAW layer uh, because all the service uh, all the business logic will have to write in the service layer and DAW will only will be responsible to uh, interact with the database so DAW and I would say employee employee DAW this would be our interface DAW interface and here we are gonna paste this method almost similar method I would say it's like add in employee say fetch sorry fetch employee information and rest of the methods we can keep as it is so this would be the interface not a class okay now we are going to create implementation of this interface right so go to this package class give the package name as impl class name employee.impl and this is gonna implement our interface is called employee dog right i don't know why this is not coming add interface employee dog select okay finish so here we'll have to write all uh here we'll have to write the code which will interact with the database using hibernate right so this is basically our layered architecture now <laughs> sorry <laughs> now here we are going to uh, call our DAW layer method right from here so new I would say employee new DAW and here we'll have to call a method is called add employee and employee object you are passing over here Similarly, you can pass it new employee. I would say uh, fetch right fetch employee ID. You need to pass employee ID. So you will have to. And here, if you have some kind of business logic, those business logic you can write in the service layer, right? So now, similarly, we have a now update employee ID. So we can pass new salary and now let's call to the delete employee id right now now go to the say your doll layer your doll layer and here we are going to write our source code uh, we try catch some of the code snippet we can copy from here itself right so here uh, what we can do this layout we can copy over here right and here we got the session and we are using try with resources so we don't need to close session in your file lib block right so that's the advantage of try with resources now here you can begin the transaction right now you can get transaction existing transaction you can get and commit right and between this you can session dot save and you can save this object right and this is going to return you so some code snippet we can copy from here which we had already uh, seen in the previous video tutorial right so here this code snippet i'm going to copy and finally from main method we'll delete this code right now employee will have to save it so pass it over here and just we are printing sorry uh, employees created with a specific id right so this create is completed now similarly get employee id we have a now again what we can do we can copy this code snippet and we'll have a little change now this code already we have uh, written in previous video tutorial get employee id so just i'm going to copy from here get employee id and simply i would paste it over here sorry not add but create employee when you read data from the database you don't require a transaction right so let's say suppose id we are getting from the client so we'll have to pass it over here same id and this will print the data if record exists with a specific id 
now similarly update record right so update you require again transaction right so for update we have written here code as well so if you go here then yes this is the code for update we have written so let's go and uh, here in update section sorry guys let's first complete this one and code for update i'm going to copy from here and here in update section go and paste it right so first you'll uh, try to employ fetch the employee from the database now if you find this is not null then you update with the new salary you begin the transaction you update the employee and finally you are completing the, the results right completing the transaction now finally we have a delete employee right so for delete employee again code would be all very much similar to the update itself so i'm going to copy this code snippet i'll paste it over here and uh, of course we can copy available code from here itself which we had learned in previous video tutorial so delete so i'm going to copy these things and go to delete section and here you can paste it out so almost we have done right so this employee id will have to pass it which is coming from the client if employee exists go and delete and commit the transaction right so this way we have completed daw as well as service layer now our client program only we have to make call to these methods so here we don't need to here we simply we are going to call these methods so let me delete these things and here let's call this method you don't need to pass now session session is already getting created so here you don't require a session right so here what you can do you can create an instance of uh, you can create an instance of what uh, employee service employee service employee service equal to new employee service IMPL this object and every method has to take this reference right now you go and pass this reference to get employee create employee sorry and here what you can do you can call create employee by passing this employee right so this one is completed okay so if i run this application so one method we can test at least So you can see a table is created, unique constant is applied to the email and finally one insert is. Uh, so in test schema you can see one table is created and one record has been inserted. So create employee we have tested right. Now similarly we have to test uh, other API as well. So create I'm going to copy. Now get employee by ID you can go and here what you can do. Uh, here also we'll have to pass this reference right and here you can call get uh, employee by id id i'm going to pass one and this is going to return us employee information right employee and uh, we have already overridden two testing methods so directly you can print employee information right so that i'm going to call and if I run this program, then this should return us employee information whose ID is one and that we are getting over here. We are, this null is getting printed somewhere. Let's see where this null is coming. So if you go and here, then somewhere this is printing null. I don't know where. So here we'll have to pass, we'll have to return this one, this guy, right? So here we'll have to declare this guy outside our try block, right? And after fixing this issue, if you run this program, then you'll get a complete file, right, guys? 
so i am running out of time rest of the two methods i am going to complete in the next video tutorial thanks for watching